Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hitty. I wanted to give you guys an update on, uh, hey, we're going to get some relief, which is always good. Also, remember, this is YouTube, so like and subscribe. And, of course, you can hit a little bell and you'll get some notifications. Hope you're having a great Tuesday so far. Uh, mine's been pretty good, busy. I've got pretty good migraine going on. That's why I got my glasses on. But at least we're going to get some relief from the heat and even some rain chances. Let's go ahead, let's take a look. Let's see what's going on out there. Um, look at these showers and thunderstorms popping up. See this little faint little line right through the region? That is kind of outflow boundaries, a little bit of a front. You can see another little outflow boundary. So thunderstorms like to pop up along these little boundaries. And this is what we're gonna see as we go through the evening hours for us tonight. Now. We are going to see these guys kind of uh, falling apart after the sun completely sets and we lose the heating of the day. But at least right now we're getting some showers. We're getting some thunderstorms out there. We can track these just east of Iola. Uh, none of these too strong, but we're going to get some thunder and some lightning and some decent amounts of rain, especially in southeastern Kansas. Most of these through the evening hours are going to be along and north of interstate 44 but we'll have other chances for rain over the next couple days look at that little line so just south of lamar north of jasper see that little line little boundaries and that's what these showers and thunderstorms are popping up along a little cluster once you get out across uh labette county and neosho county uh chanute erie over toward fredonia just to the north of independence another little guy in elk county just to the east of Howard. So this is good news. We're getting some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Again, for the next couple hours, these should stick around and then we'll start to see uh, this cluster, which is really going to get going. So look at this across central Kansas, western Kansas, out toward Dodge City. Pretty good cluster of showers and thunderstorms. And this is going to fill in up toward Kansas City and then also affect some of us a little bit later on tonight. So this is good. At least we're getting some rain chances in here. And we're going to break the heat a little bit. All right, let's go through time. Here's 11 p.m. You can see that cluster up to the north near Kansas City. Some of these could affect our northern counties a little bit later on tonight. Here's 4 o'clock in the morning. I do think north of I-44 we're going to have more storms than what this particular particular model is showing. Uh, so scattered showers and thunderstorms along and north of I-44. Let's go through the morning hours. Let me refocus this. Hit and miss showers early and then once we get into the afternoon hours we could still see a few random isolated storms but I think most of the day once we get out of the morning hours is going to be dry. Now if you live south of I-44 your rain chances tonight into tomorrow morning not that good. All right, 94 by noon, high temp right around 100. Let's go through tomorrow evening, scattered showers and thunderstorms start popping up again. So here's near midnight, a little bit more widespread as we go into Thursday morning. Scattered showers and thunderstorms across the region. So this is all really good news. At least we're getting some rain in here, even though it's not super widespread. As we go through Thursday morning, scattered showers and thunderstorms. Temperatures are going to be cooler. It looks like once these push on by, we should warm up near 90 by the time we head into Thursday afternoon. And 90 is a lot better than 107 that we had today. We did break a record for us today. Another round, scattered showers and thunderstorms again by the time we head into Friday morning. So again, some pretty good news there we can even go a little bit farther i think we'll have scattered showers and thunderstorms friday morning temperatures quite a bit cooler we're looking at 80s on friday and saturday chances for scattered showers and thunderstorms stick around on saturday in fact i think our best chance for rain is going to be from thursday morning until late saturday that two two and a half day stretch is the best potential to get some widespread rain across the area which we really need especially the farmers all right sunday we start to warm things back up just a little bit more i still think we're going to go to about 90 for a high and then as we head into monday slight chance for some scattered thunderstorms but the upper 90s return and then here come the triple digits again by the time we get into next tuesday good news here is we get a little bit of a break from all of the extreme heat that we have seen and we're also going to get some rain in here which is 
something we just really, really need. 100 tomorrow, 90 Thursday, 82 Friday, 81 on Saturday. Back to 90 Sunday, 98 Monday, 102 by Tuesday. And it looks like a kind of triple-digit heat really settling back in, especially for the second half of next week. All right, guys, I hope you have um, a great evening. We may track these storms that are popping up out there a little bit more over the next couple hours. But I wanted to give you guys a video and just kind of let you know what's going on. And I uh, hope you have a great evening and, of course, a great Wednesday.